Hey guys, Major Frenchy from LaymanTheBlocks.com. Today we're uh, mounting this board underneath the 2x4 here. Uh, this is going to be important because all the components, or most of the components, are going to be on this. And uh, it makes it a lot easier to fix the cabinet or change something if the only thing you need to do is remove the glass and just shift the uh, monitor a little bit. So if it's underneath, if it's inside, then it's it's awkward. So w we thought well, we're going to do something like this. And also what we're going to do is we're going to try to make a really good cable management job and run all the wires from underneath. So we're going to have all our power, we're going to have everything um, running uh, underneath the board. So it's we're going to make clean connections. We're going to have holes next to each device where we're going to fish the wire. It's going to be a bit of work, but uh, I think in the long run it's going to be looking really good. Uh, we're just going to use uh, L-shape brackets to attach on the 2x4 and on the actual backboard. couple of more screws and uh, we should be good to go. Uh, we could have drilled the holes beforehand. Um, the thing is we're not sure right now where we're going to put all our components. Uh, we're going to try to test it, see what we've got, the room it takes. Uh, we, we need to think of the USB, where the computer is going to be located. We've got a few things to think about. So first step is just, you know, let's just put that board in place and let's just figure it out. Every time we want, if we want to remove that board, we'll need to remove that, which is not a big deal. There are only two screws, so and we got that in place. Now we'll just show you a few parts that we're going to install. Well, this is the Sane Smart 16 ports. We're not going to use that anymore. Now these two little devices, they're supposed to be stepped down uh, for a 24 volt to 12 or whatever. Um, we've ended up changing them because, well, they don't work. <laughs> All they are, they're a booster, they're not, they don't reduce really the power. So we went with real um, step down. Y you'll, you'll see in the guide as well, uh, we have the uh, photo of the... Uh, of the actual but because this video was taken before we couldn't really change it now well, there's the LED whiz uh, that we're going to use that's the 32 port LED uh, we'll just place it here for the time being uh, the configuration will most likely change actually I know it will change because um, some of the devices that we have here we're not using so uh, this is our zero delay uh, USB this is for uh, the buttons, so this is like a keyboard mapper if you want. So each button will go to this, and there's a USB cable going to the computer. They're cheap, and they're, uh, they work quite well. Uh, this is the uh, Teensy and the Ar Arduino, uh, which is the Octo 2811. Uh, we're going to use that for our addressable LED strips. Uh, that's going to be, uh, we have a full dedicated section for this. And it, it, I, it, it will not go there in the cabinet. It'll be somewhere else. But right now we're just trying to look at the layout, right? How many boards we have. Um, we got to think of the holes, um, everything like that. So what we're going to do, we're just going to uh, draw around the parts uh, so we know where things most likely are going to be. And then we can assess, um, you know, where it is best to put the devices. Now we're going to drill holes uh, so we can fish all the wires. Now when you do this, uh, not drilling the holes, but when you place all your components on the board, think of the location of where it's going to uh, be connected to 
and uh, how much wire you're going to be required. Because wire is expensive, right? And the more wire you have, the more of a mess, the more of, of wire management you need to, to, to do. So look at the front. I have my zero delay USB controller. And uh, it's going to be connected to the buttons. Well, all my buttons are at the front. So it would not make sense for me to put that board at the back. I would run un unnecessary wires. Um, it costs money. And uh, yeah, so think of that when you're doing it. Think of where the power is going to be, the power supply. Um, we're going to do in the future video, it's going to be the power supply. And we're going to start wiring everything. But where's the going to be the power supply, right? Uh, think of the airflow as well. How is your airflow going to be? Um, do you want, do you need more air going through? And in all these things, you need to think ahead of time. Because once you get your parts uh, glued or whatever on the board, I mean, you can always move them around, but it it is un unnecessary work, right? So just a time saver. And just a little house cleaning. Like I find that when you get a clean cabinet, just try to clean as you go because otherwise it gets messy very quickly. Thank you for watching. I will see you for sure in the next video.